Hi, my name's Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. This is the sixth episode in the obsession to photograph every hummingbird species and the fourth one in Honduras. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, you can click here. We got up early and we were off to the local airport to board a propeller plane to the island of Wanaha. Wanaha is one of the bay islands in Honduras. The biggest one is Roatan. A lot of you are probably familiar with that one because that's where the cruise ships go. But Wanaha, oh wow, if I were going to give everything up and move to the island to live the island life, this is where I would go. Now, the island of Wanaha is very well known as a diver's hotspot, but it was also the only place where on this trip we would be able to find Cannabis Emerald, which was our target hummingbird for the day. We flew into the airport at Wanaha and then went out into this little boat that was going to take us out to Roland's guest house. Roland Rum and his parents, Annette and Klaus, they moved from Germany many, many years ago. They decided to move to the island and they've been there ever since, never looked back. There's William. Hello. Hi, William. Our fearless leader. And that's Klaus and Annette back there. Roland is in here. And Jenny's back there. <laughs> I was thinking when you're leaving, I let you pick up season two. They cooked us lunch. We spent a lot of time on their porch talking to them and just seeing the beauty of what they have there. Their guest house has solar panels, they have Wi Fi, they have a tree house built that you can stay in. But they have hummingbird feeders, and there were lots of Canavitz emeralds that come to their feeders, and also the green-breasted mango. The green-breasted mango is a common hummingbird found from the Rio Grande Valley down through northwestern South America. There have been vagrants spotted in various places in the United States, one of which was locally captured and placed in an aviary at a zoo in Wisconsin. So you never know where one of these might show up. We can hope one might show up on the live cam. At one point when we were watching the hummingbirds, we heard a lot of hummingbirds screeching and making all kinds of noise. And we went over and looked at the tree and there was a vine snake in the tree. And the hummingbirds were trying to chase it away because it was in their territory. So um, we got some pictures and video of the vine snake and the hummingbirds. <laughs> My favorite picture that I took was one of one of the green-breasted mangoes trying to scare off the vine snake. There was one little Canavitz emerald that used to like to fly and sit on the ground. I'm not sure what that was all about. You know, usually I don't see hummingbirds on the ground taking dirt baths like a lot of birds do. And he didn't look like he was taking a dirt bath. He wasn't, you know, doing what they do when they're on the ground. But he seemed to always like to be on the ground. He would fly fine and he would also perch up in the trees, but then I'd turn around and look again and there he would be on the ground. Not sure what he was doing, but he was a cute little guy. Now one thing that's hard to miss when you're on Wanaha is Dunbar Rock. There is this rock where this massively beautiful hotel is built right on the rock. In fact, when you look at it, that's all you see. It looks like there's a hotel built on the water, practically. Um, and this is apparently a place for pretty wealthy divers to stay. It's expensive, but wow! It's, when we were going back to the airport, I asked the boat if they could take us around so we could actually see it. Now, I'm a certified diver, and that would really be a great place to stay someday. But after we said goodbye to Wanaha, we flew back to the lodge at Pico Benito. William and Jenny, the day before, went up to this tower that they have to observe birds, and they had seen a purple crown fairy. So we went back there so we could photograph it, and sure enough, the little purple crown fairy showed up for us. 
Now you can find the Purple Crown Fairy all the way from Mexico through Central America down to Ecuador, but this was my first introduction to this beautiful species. What also showed up for us was a little monkey that was across the way uh, with my zoom lens. I got a picture of him uh, looking back at us. Well, the next morning it was time to say goodbye to Jenny. She had to fly back to the UK. And then it was William and I who went back to the Lake Yohoa area where I would stay at the D&D &D Brewery for the next couple nights. Next morning, we drove out to Lake Yohoa to Las Vegas, Santa Barbara area where we met Leonel Chavez, who has a large piece of property and uh, he's keeping it in its original state as a reserve. And this was a reliable place to try to find the wine-throated hummingbird, which we had missed earlier in La Tigra. We took the truck and we went as far as the truck could possibly go, which was as far as this big, wide gully in the road and then we'd have to hike the rest of the way. It was a pretty significant hike up a hill made much more difficult before, because we had a rainstorm the night before. I mean, I had never seen rain come down this hard. <laughs> It was muddy and slippery, but we climbed up to the top to this nice flat area and um, we sat there on a blanket and waited for the wine-throated hummingbird to show up. We saw some very interesting things on the way up. They showed me a caterpillar that was the cutest thing. It was really, it was really big, but it looked like it was so soft and furry, like a little puppy dog. They informed me if I decided to pet that little puppy dog, I would be in the hospital because it's a very, very poisonous caterpillar. I have looked everywhere on the internet to find, try to find out what kind of caterpillar this is and what it turns into when it's done being a caterpillar, and I can't find it. If any Anybody who watches this video knows, uh, please leave something in the comments section because I would love to know. <laughs> there was a patch of flowers up there that I was staking out because they looked, they were tubular pink flowers and they looked like hummingbirds would love them, but no hummingbirds were coming. William spotted a dead tree with moss and orchids growing on it, but it seemed like it was a favorite perch spot for the wine-throated hummingbird. Uh, the first one that came was a female, and we got some great pictures of it. Then the male came. You know, it's unfortunate that I never, I have to see this bird again because I never got a really good picture of it um, with its gorget shining, but William got some really great video on a subsequent trip, and that's what you're looking at right now. What a beautiful hummingbird. I cannot wait to see this bird again to get pictures like this with its gorget shining. Morning came and we were off to San Pedro Sula so I can catch my flight back to Los Angeles. But on the way, we stopped at friends of William's house, Enrique and Gloria Tejada, because they had a rufous-tailed hummingbird's nest on their property in a pretty low position where I could get some photographs of the birds. These baby birds were pretty big, so they looked like I got there just in the nick of time. I wouldn't be surprised if they fledged that later that same day or at least started venturing outside of the nest. But we stayed there long enough for me to get some pictures. Then we were off to San Pedro Sula to, for me to go home and start planning my next trip. In next Sunday's video, we're going to skip from my very first trip out of the country to my very last. Uh, and we are going to show you 
the pursuit of my 150th bird that I've photographed. This is the most important hummingbird because it's the rarest one in the world. It's the blue bearded helmet crest, which took us to northern Colombia to the Santa Marta Mountains. We hiked up a mountain and camped for four nights in order to get photographs of this bird. And you are not going to want to miss this. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you will be notified when this video comes out. See you next Sunday.